Hi, this is Lisa Rangel with Chameleon Resumes, the premier executive resume writing company, and thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about, and we're going to talk about adversity in the context of adversity being the key to job search success. What made me pick this topic today is I just came from the gym, and, and you may be able to tell because I'm not normally, I'm, I'm not in my normal dolled up video form here, and you know, I'm just in complete admiration of our gym owner, the gym that I go to here in northern New Jersey. So for the last few weeks, for the last couple of weeks, frankly, the gyms have been able to operate in a modified attendance capacity. I mean, still very limited, but, you know, at least they were going to be able to have some people come in for small classes and, and a few members at a time. And, you know, it allowed, obviously, the, the gyms to operate at um, a limited capacity. Again, revenue coming in, membership, you know, revenue coming in every month because now the gym is still able to deliver to the membership. However, today, we took a little bit of a reversion back and the governor of New Jersey said that the gyms cannot have these limited member classes any longer, at least for the temporary short term. Um, obviously, public health being the first priority, that was the context in which that decision was made. You know, I'm not going to comment here on whether you, we agree with it or whether we don't agree with it. Obviously, it has some extreme ramifications, but it's all in the context of public health. But here's the thing. Our gym owner is awesome, and I am just in complete admiration of him because he just, he had a plan. He had a plan that, you know, because there is a limit of working with three people in the gym and not necessarily, you know, the 10 or what used to be, what used to happen at being 15 to 20. So if you can work with three people in the gym, he came up with this, you know, whole convoluted schedule and plan for people to sign up and get almost practically, you know, somewhat private training even in, with, with, a, with a trainer working with three people. And, you know, he just was like triumph over adversity personified, in my opinion, in the moment today and yesterday in which he came up with this plan and, and gave it to the gym owners. And, you know, and I think that's the key. I mean, you know, none of us are in this ideal situation by far. And, you know, I think what's going to get us through it, you know, when we look back on it a year from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, is truly our ability to just accept the situation that we're in and and have our like adversity gene kick in and you know how are we going to be creative how are we going to do things we didn't used to do but now we have to do it you know how are we going to work within the boundaries that we are just given you know wherever our locations are because some locations are are worse or better than others but you know what's our local situation what's our our worldly situation and then how do we how do we do business in that capacity you know how do we make a living in that capacity and you know the last few months being in this you know pandemic covid financial um stress i i've been reverting back to this book that i read a long time ago and i actually have a copy of it here to show you adversity quotient by paul stotes it was um written in 1997 uh, you know i'm not even putting affiliate links or anything in in the description i just really want you to look it up and grab your copy because i have to tell you i go back to this book often um you know during the 2001 pandemic i think that's actually maybe right before, before then is when i picked it up because i didn't get it when it first came out i'm, I'm certain but um you know the 2008 i'm, I'm sorry not 2001 um not the pandemic the uh 9 11 you know, tra tragedy, um, 2008 financial collapse, you know, and now we kind of have a little bit of both going on, you know, plus a little added health, um, you know, pandemic and, and uh, you know, racial injustice finally being brought to the forefront and being addressed. But it's obviously uh, rightfully causing some strife and some stress in a lot of people and trying to make it right. So it's just we have like a multi-layer situation going on. And there's just a lot of adversity. You know, some people have financial adversity, some people have health adversity, some people have both. Um, and so how do we accept all of this? It doesn't mean we have to like it, right? But how do we accept it all and move forward? How do we still conduct the job search? How do we still make an, in, an income? How do we take care of our families? And I think that's really the key. So, you know, Go build your adversity quotient. Go see how good yours is for now. Um, you know, see what you have to do to make it better. Because honestly, I think that's what we're all going to need 
you know, built up and in full for force for, I think, the next six to 18 months at the minimum. And, you know, I think it's really key to know that we all have the strength within us, we all have hope within us, and, you know, we're all going to get through this together, but we have to take the steps to take care of ourselves and, and build ourselves while leaning on each other and helping each other. It can't just be the leaning and the helping. We have to take care of ourselves in the process as well. So it's like a three-legged stool there. Um, so that's, you know, that's really the message today is, you know, how, how large is your adversity quotient? How deep is your reserve of adversity? You know, how um, are you going to be able to make sure that you have the reserves to pull from as we go through the next, you know, few seasons, um, not only, you know, calendar seasons, but, you know, financial seasons and, and whatnot. So we got to do this together. So that's my, that's my, you know, that's my shtick today, so to speak. And I'm just really in admiration, you know, of the essential workers, the small business owners that are physically out there and really trying to, you know, not only sustain their own lives and their own families' livelihoods, but really providing services to the communities that are absolutely needed. And, you know, and even those that are more of a, a wellness capacity, it, by keeping us all well, we obviously are, are less of a burden to the healthcare system. So it's still very much appreciated. So anyway, just, uh, so that's my, that's my advice today is get your copy of this. And, you know, if you can find a, a local bookstore that is selling it uh, or that can order it for you and be patient in getting it, you know, that's an awesome way to do that. And, you know, if not, get your hands on a copy and know that it's helped me for, you know, probably the last 20 years. Um, and I, I keep going back to it and it's, it's a classic. So anyway, have a great day. Um, if you like this video and feel like it can help somebody, I'm going to ask you to share it. If you like it, I'm going to ask you to like it. And if you feel that you want to not miss next week, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to the channel. And if you have a comment or a question, you can always reach out to me at lr at chameleonresumes.com or put a comment below. I read and reply to every email and, and comment. So um, thanks so much and have a great day.